بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم شاطین سواتی از ہیئر اینڈ ویلکم ٹو بایو سائنس وتھ شاطین سواتی اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈلیور دا سیکنڈ پارٹ آف دا مائی فرسٹ لیکچر اباؤٹ دا لپز اینڈ ایز آئی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ان مائی پریویس لیکچر اباؤٹ دا انٹروڈکشن اینڈ کلاسیفیکیشن آف دا لپڈس اینڈ آئی ڈسکس ان ڈیٹیل اباؤٹ دا سمپل لپڈس ٹرائی گلاس ٹرائی گلاس رائڈس سو ان دا کرنٹ لیکچر آئی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ دا سیکنڈ موسٹ امپورٹنٹ فاسفل لپڈس اینڈ یو آل آر فیملیئر ود دیم اینڈ دیز آر دا فاسفل لپڈس سو بفور اسٹارٹنگ مائی لیکچر آئی ہیو اے ویری ہمبل ریکویسٹ ٹو آل آف یو ٹو کائنڈلی پروموٹ مائی چینل If you did not subscribe, subscribe my channel, like my videos and share my videos. If you are sharing my videos, you are sharing knowledge. So keep watching, keep sharing knowledge with others. Okay, now I'm starting my lecture about the phospholipids. And all of you know that the phospholipids are the most important component uh, and which provide the structure to the cell uh, in the form of the cell membrane of Phospholipids are present in the form of lipid bilayer. You all are familiar with them. So in this lecture, I will discuss about the classification, biosynthesis, how the phospholipids synthesize because most of the people, most of the students don't know about uh, how they um, synthesize in the um, cell and Uh, in which uh, by which mechanism and which enzymes are responsible for that and in which part of the uh, cell and uh, also about the chemistry and biology of the phospholipids and at last very important thing i will discuss about the function okay first of all phospholipids are composed of you can see here the most important they are known as phospholipids because of the presence of the phosphate group and they are uh, complex are compound lipids as i have discussed in my previous lecture about the compound lipids and are complex lipids so uh, phospholipids are the form of are the part of the compound are complex lipids and why they are called phospholipids because in this case a phosphate group is present with two alcohols and one or two fatty acids as you can see here this is the phosphate group This is the glycerol, which is alcohol, and one or two fatty acids chain. On one end of the molecule are the phosphate group, and on uh, one side alcohol. This end is polar. So this end, which contain or consist of phosphate group and alcohol, this is hydrophilic. This is polar. That is, has an electric charge. and is attracted to or uh, attached to the uh, water so that's why this is hydrophilic and this phosphate with glycerol form the head of the phospholipid so this is just uh, imagine that this is the head of the phospholipid and this head is hydrophilic why it is hydrophilic because it consists of phosphate group and glycerol which is alcohol the other end which consists of the fatty acids now this is the fatty acid chain you can see here the two fatty acid chain uh, it consists of one and sometimes two so fatty acids fatty acid chain which is hydrocarbon which is in the form of the saturated and unsaturated the other end which consists of the fatty acid is what neutral it is hydrophobic and water insoluble but is fat soluble this is hydrophobic portion and this because of this hydrophobic nature and insolubility means hydrophobic mean insoluble in water this hydrophobic nature give the cell membrane stability this hydrophobic uh nature of the hydrocarbon fatty acid chain actually give rise the what stability to the cell membrane i will discuss how they are arranged and i have discussed in my previous lecture about the cell membrane structure so must watch my lecture about the cell membrane structure and function uh you will get a lot uh, about the uh, arrangement of the phospholipids in the cell membrane and many more function different types of the phospholipids there too okay so you you can see here this is the structure 
and the structure consists of the head this is the head this is the tail head consists of phosphate group and the glycerol this is the chemical structure or the chemistry of the phospholipid and this is the glycerol and these are the what fatty acids chain which are hydrophobic and this hydrophobic nature of the phospholipid gives stability to the cell membrane that's why cell uh, cell membrane uh, do not dissolve in the water uh, because outside of the cell is uh, water and inside of the cell is water so if the cell membrane or the you can say the phospholipids consist of just hydrophilic uh, component that what will happen the actual uh, shape of the cell membrane or the cell uh, what will happen do not attain by the cell and the structure is do not maintain so amphipathic nature or you can say uh, i will discuss here in the arrangement so how the uh, phospholipid arrange and what is the amphipathic nature amphi, amphi means both both natures like uh, you can say that um, uh, phospholipids are hydrophilic on one side and hydrophobic on the other side so that's why they are amphipathic in nature what is the meaning of amphi amphi means both phospholipid possess both the characteristics hydrophilic as well as hydrophobic is it clear so you can see here the arrangement of the phospholipids in the cell membrane this is a cell membrane is the double membrane all the organelle membranes are double membrane and consist of what they are all made up of what phospholipids and the phospholipids consist of as we know that head and tail so in the lipid bilayer what will happen the head is on the outer leaflet and the inner leaflet and the hydrophobic tail arrange in this way means this is the lipid bilayer and the hydrophobic tail present here in this form arrange in this form inside inside of the cell membrane but the on the both side on the inner uh, leaflet and on the outer leaflet we can see here the what hydrophilic head and this is the hydrophobic tail so along with the phospholipids we know that there are number of proteins present there are um, cholesterol present and many more substances many more component are uh, chemicals are present in the cell membrane so here i'm just uh, focusing on the arrangement of the uh, phospholipids in the cell membrane how the cell uh, phospholipids are arranged in the cell mem membrane and this uh, um, uh, arrangement of the phospholipids in the cell membrane give the stability to the cell membrane because of, of its hydrophobic nature and as we know that uh, the this uh, cell membrane mostly consists of the lipid bilayer uh, phospholipids so it allow the non polar substances uh, to pass through the uh, cell easily and it also provide the cell uh, permeability selective permeability so selective permeability because of the phospholipids okay so you can see here the arrangement of the phospholipids how just imagine this is the outside of the cell this is the inside of the cell so the phospholipids arrange hydrophobic uh, hydrophilic head on its inner and outer leaflet side and the tail inside inside the or inside the uh, hydrophilic head and arrange in this form this is one and this is the second layer that's why this is known as sandwich like structure that's why this is known as lipid bile layer okay now phospholipid synthesis phospholipid synthesis occur in the cytosolic side 
of endoplasmic reticular membrane where the phospholipid synthesize in on the endoplasmic reticulum er for endoplasmic endoplasmic reticulum especially which type of endoplasmic reticulum is responsible smooth type of endoplasm because rough type involve in protein synthesis as we know that the on rough type of the endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes are present so uh, protein synthesis occur there but in the uh, in case of this smooth endoplasmic reticulum or endoplasmic reticulum, the on the cytoplasmic side of the endoplasmic reticulum what will happen phospholipid synthesis occur that is studied with protein that act in synthesis now which enzymes are responsible one is gpat gpat and lpat gpat g for glycerol p for phosphate a for acyl t for transferase similarly uh, lysophosphate uh, acyl transferase these are the two most important uh, acyl transferase enzymes which are responsible for the formation of the phospholipid is it clear now and a location you can see here the flippase flippase these are the special type of the proteins which help in the transfer of the what uh, lipids phospholipids from one uh, from one side of the cell to the other side these help in you can say the transport of the phospholipids so a location uh, is uh, you can say that uh, Uh, takes place by the flippers eventually our vesicle will bud off from the endoplasmic reticulum containing the phospholipids destined for the cytoplasmic cellular membrane on its extra on its on its exterior leaflet and phospholipid destined for the ex, uh, extra um, exoplasmic cellular membrane on its inner leaflet so uh, as we know that the phospholipids require for the synthesis of the cell membrane when they uh, when the phospholipid synthesize on the endoplasmic reticulum with the help of the gpat and l path then what will happen uh, these uh, phospholipids are carried out by the flippase and flopase uh, to all other parts of the cell Uh, for the synthesis of the cell membrane and organelle membranes too all the organelles double membrane organelle like endoplasmic reticulum golgi body um, uh, mitochondria chloroplast all these require the uh, phospholipid for the synthesis of the protein uh, for the for synthesis of the cell membrane or the uh, organelle membrane is it clear okay now the classification how the phospholipids are classified uh there are basically um, two types lecithins and sifilins lecithin contains the amino alcohol choline is it clear lecithin is found in egg yolk wheat germ and soya bean what is lecithin contains the amino alcohol choline lecithin is found in egg yolk wheat uh, germs and soya bean and sifilins sifilins contain the amino alcohol serine like lecithin contain the amino alcohol choline sifilins must keep it in your mind the difference between the is lecithin and sifilin is that lecithin contain the choline and sifilin contain the amino alcohol serine or ethanol amine is it clear this contain the choline this contain the serine or ethanolamine sifilins are found in most cell membranes particularly in brain tissues must keep it in your mind sifilin syphilic so uh, this is the difference between the lecithin and the sifilin uh, what is the basic difference because of the uh, presence of the amine, amino acids like choline uh, uh, and in other case serine or ethanolamine and the difference is the like this present in one present in the brain tissues particularly and other in the egg yolk and wheat and germs and soya bean so there are different uh, examples of the lecithin uh, you can see here phosphatidylcholine has sifilins uh, phosphatidyl uh, 
uh, ethanol amine and phosphatidyl serines are groups of the phospholipids of the widespread occurrence in plants and animal lecithin is the most abundant but is rare in microorganisms some are exclusively uh, components of the mitochondrial membranes such as uh, cardiolipine and I have discussed about the cardiolipine in mitochondria especially cardiolipine uh, 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 present in large amount in a uh, greater amount in the uh, mitochondrial membrane and why this is called cardiolipine I have discussed in detail cardiolipine is uh, called cardiolipine because it was first discovered in the uh, heart animal heart cell so that's why named as cardiolipine and this is the most important phospholipid and I have discussed in detail about the functions of the uh, cardiolipine in my lecture about the mitochondria. So must watch my lecture about the mitochondria. Okay. Now you can see here the two structures of the uh, chemistry of the uh, what lecithin and cephalin. Now you can see the difference between the lecithin and cephalin is it clear to you okay now functions of the phospholipid that is very important because uh, mostly uh, the students are familiar with the cell membrane um, structure and just uh, have an idea that the phospholipid is just present in the cell membrane and the organelle membrane. Even um, uh, uh, students are not familiar that this is phospholipid is also the part of the um, uh, organelle membrane. So now the concept clear upon you people that the phospholipids are present in the cell membrane as well as the organelle membrane and uh, provide the stability to the cell so uh, first function is that as a membrane component so there is no need to explain it again uh, as a membrane component phospholipids are selective permeable or are so called semi permeable uh, meaning that only uh, certain molecules can pass through them to enter or exit the cell molecules that dissolve in fats can pass through uh, cell membrane easily while molecules that dissolve in water cannot is it clear? Okay. The phospholipids can be broken down in the cell and used for energy. They are also the source of the energy. The third point, they can also be split into smaller molecules called the chemokines. Now chemokines, these are the small molecules which help in the cell migration. Is it clear? So, which regulate a variety of the activities in the cell such as production of the certain proteins and migration of the cell to uh, different areas of the body. So, help in the cell signaling and cell migration and many more. Chemokines. So, the concept clear about the chemokines, how the chemokines are produced by the breakdown of the phospholipids. Number four. They are found in the areas such as the lungs and in joints where they help to lubricate cells cell lubricate cells are lubricated in the joints as well as in the lungs so they are very important lubricants okay in pharmaceuticals very important function very important role played by the phospholipids in pharmaceutical industries for phospholipids are used as a part of the drug i have discussed in messenger rna vaccine that the messenger rna uh, includes in phospholipids is it clear so phospholipids are used as a part of the drug delivery system so phospholipids uh, use for drug delivery like messenger rna if you are transferring you are uh, as a vaccine or dna as a vaccine and many more uh, things many more uh, drugs uh, these drugs are carried out by the are delivered by the by using this uh, phospholipid because phospholipids uh, easily taken up by the cells uh, and I have given you the concept that the uh, things which are dissolved in the phospholipids can pass through it. So uh, the basic concept behind uh, the delivery system is that. Which are systems that help transport a drug throughout the body to the area that it is uh, meant to affect. They have high bioavailability. 
yes this is the point that uh, i'm discussing that uh, for uh, the substance which dissolve in the cell membrane easily are the lipid um, are the non polar so uh, they have high availability because of its uh, what phospholipid nature so meaning that they are easy for the body to absorb that's why they are used in fossil uh, in the uh, pharmaceutics you can see here this is the a small uh, vesicle like structure which is used or you can say the drug, drug constituent is wrapped inside that uh, what in the, uh, 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 in, in the lysosome liposome sorry so this is known as the liposome the vesicle which is synthesized for the drug delivery is known as liposome okay in the food industry phospholipids can act as i have discussed that the phospholipid uh, lecithin is the most important constituents of the egg and many more so have been and all so phospholipid can act as a uh, emulsifiers which are the substances that disperse oil droplets in water so that the oil and water do not form separate layers for example egg yolk contain the phospholipids and are used in the mayonnaise to keep it from uh, separating and phospholipids are found in high concentration in many other animal and plant sources such as soya bean sunflower cotton seeds corns and even cow brain is it clear okay i hope so the lecture will be clear upon you people and you will enjoy inshallah so must watch my lectures like my videos and share my video i will be back with the new lecture about the third type of talipids uh, until alhaf phase and thank you very much